This video is about dealing with some basic trigonometry in the calculator. Now before you get started you have to make sure that the calculator is set up to work with uh, whatever angle measurement you're dealing with, which could be degrees or it could be radians. So here's how you check that. If you open up a scratch pad or a document and you press doc and go to st uh, settings and status and then document settings, under angle you'll see what type of measurement you're dealing with. So the calculator is currently set up to deal with radian measure. Now I'm going to switch that to degree measurement for this, uh, for this video. But you need to set that to whatever you're using in class. So I'll press OK and now uh, the calculator is set up to deal with degree measurements. So if I want to evaluate a trig function, underneath the blue control button there's a button that says trig and this has all of your trigonometric functions and the inverse functions. So let's say I want the sine of 30 degrees. Remember, the calculator is set up to work with degrees. I can press Enter, and the calculator tells me that that's 1 half. I can press Control Enter and get uh, a decimal if that's what I want. Now let's say you're doing some, uh, uh, some equation solving. So let's say that we have, well, uh, the sine of you know, 37 degrees is x over 7. So if I want to solve this equation, sine of 37 is x over 7, we go to menu, algebra, solve, and I type that equation. So the sine of 37 degrees equals, oh, cursor moved, the sine of 37 degrees equals x over 7 comma x if I just press enter, well, the calculator uh, just multiplied by 7 on both sides, so what it said is true. X is 7 times the sine of 37. If you want a decimal answer, uh, press control enter, and you'll get uh, that X equals uh, 4.21. Uh, 4 now, let's say that I want to solve for an unknown angle. Let's say that we know that the tangent of some angle is... Um, let's say 3 fourths. So the tangent of an angle is 3 fourths and we want to find the angle. Without going into the details, when solving this equation, menu, algebra, you can't pick option one for solve uh, because of what's going on behind the scenes inside the calculator. Rather, you're going to have to use numerical solve, which is option six. So we want to uh, numerically solve the tangent of x, e sorry, the tangent of x equals three fourths, comma x. So we get that x is about uh, a thirty-six point nine degree angle. Anyway, that's how you do uh, some basic things with trigonometry in the calculator. Hope it helped.